Chances are that you landed on this video because you were searching for how to stay motivated to lose weight. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be going over some of the specific details that I use with my own coaching clients, not only to help them stay motivated, but to actually keep them on track throughout their entire transformation journey. So stay tuned, you're gonna to wanna to see this. Hi, welcome to Lance Crone Coaching, where my mission is to eliminate confusion for you and get you the fastest and most sustainable results on your fitness transformation journey. If it's your first time, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that, that way you can get notifications when I come up with new content, which right now is usually two to three times a week. Um, and if you like the video, please be sure to like it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're going through some struggles, I read each and every comment. So I want to hear those. Um, I can't wait to share with you this information and uh, I'm really just excited to help you on your journey. Hey guys, it's Lance here. I uh, wanted to do a really important video for you guys today on, um, on small wins. So I think that it's so easy for us to get caught up on only the goal and what we feel like we should be doing and really, really uh, comparing uh, ourselves to either others or again, we have this, this thing and vision in our minds of where we should be or, um, you know, this expectation and anything less than that to us is failure. And I'm absolutely telling you that that is utter nonsense. So you focusing on where you think you should be on a regular basis is only creating an environment for you that you have a pass or fail uh, mentality about your goals. And what happens is because it's inevitable for us to trip, to stumble, to fall, uh, to miss the mark, or again, um, keeping in mind that all of these goals um, being reached is just a series of small wins bound together to create one big win. And whenever you are so focused on just the big win, you see yourself as either there or not there. And that's the only two um, alternatives. The reality is, is that this is not how you succeed. It's not big win or I've not made it. That's not the way that this goes. And so my encouragement to you and what has kept a lot of my clients for 13 years, not only getting results that others only dream about, but keeping them is developing a lifestyle that's sustainable. And so we do that by focusing on the daily wins. So these wins are not anything to write home about typically, but that's okay. That's what leads up to these huge, huge wins. So some of these daily wins might be focusing on every day I will do X, Y, and Z, um, you know, that leads to, um, you know, a, a monthly or a, you know, a, a, a win for the month, which might be a 10 pound goal. But unfortunately what happens is, most of us will focus on, if we're losing 50 pounds, we focus on the 50 pounds and that's it. Um, and, and that would be great if we were just focusing on a goal in and of itself. And that goal would be specifically like, hey, that my eyes are on the prize, I'm focused. Um, you know, anything less than that will be failure, but you've given yourself enough time um, and you do have a game plan and that game plan consists of small wins. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. We focus on that goal and we see ourselves as there or not there, and that's it. And unfortunately, that becomes crippling and it's disheartening and it takes away and robs our joy of the journey and the small successes that lead to those big successes. This is the same for anybody, um, you know, learning something, yoga practices and moves, um, learning how to do um, you know, Olympic style lifts and things like that, um, in business the same way, all of these things are going to be built up and comprised of small wins. So it's imperative that you know what your big goal is. This is your big win, but you need to break that down into small wins that lead up to that. Number one, you need to be able to allow 
allow yourself to have and appreciate and celebrate these victories. It's going to send a message to your uh, conscious and subconscious mind that I'm on the right path, I'm further than where I was, and not only am I setting these small goals, I'm achieving them, which means that again, me being able to achieve these goals is telling me that I can achieve a bigger goal and then a bigger one thereafter. So what's happening is, is we're building with these small wins, we're building our confidence up that yes, we might have failed in the past, but that past does not dictate what we do now. So the key is, is to make sure that you are notating that you're, no, you're absolutely notifying yourself of all of these small wins because these small wins absolutely pave the way for your big win. And so I want to encourage you um, to write down a victory list every day. Now, keep in mind, don't be so pragmatic that you hear that I said um, every day, every day, and that if you miss a day, already missed out on your opportunity and start beating yourself up in the old ways to become into I'm a failure look I can't even follow these small wins get that crap out of there I'm going to get it, get it give you a forewarning you're going to miss some days you're going to miss days and unfortunately you might miss a week here and there it's okay that's not what I mean what I mean is that these daily habits these habits of writing down your daily achievement list, um, you know, focusing on tracking your food, focusing on um, getting 30 minutes of activity in, focusing on these little things that lead up to big successful moments. Um, this here is what gets you there. Um, you know, some of the other small goals or small wins to focus on would be, again, uh, daily affirmations. This is gonna be things where you're focusing on where your mindset might be compared to where you want it to be. Um, and a lot of those, there's a lot of books like Think and Grow Rich, The Big Lead, Psycho-Cybernetics, a lot of books that really, really attack um, the whole idea that you're not enough or that you've always failed before, so you will always fail in the future. So small wins, this is our focus. So I want you guys to, again, be focusing on um, you know the remainder of uh, this program and as we launch towards the next phase um, You know that your focus is on what you're doing daily um, On a consistent basis again. It doesn't mean that you're not going to mess up But what are you doing daily? Not what big goals you've accomplished, but what are you doing daily? That will ultimately lead to where you want to go and the fact is is the reason you have me as a coach is because I've been where, or I am where you want to go, I've been where you've been, and I've seen success. In this case, I have done it for myself, and I've also done it for over a thousand people um, in 13 years of, uh, of fitness coaching and training. So my job is to keep you from hitting your head as many times as some clients, and as many times as I've hit mine, and so on and so forth. So you follow my way, I have an outside perspective. I show you the methods, I give you the daily rituals, the daily activities that lead to daily wins, which lead to monthly wins, which leads to big wins. So that is my job. My job is to take you through that, and the way that we do that is through these small wins and accounting for every small victory. Do not take your small victories lightly, because again, this is what leads, um, whenever you look at a millionaire, <clears throat> a billionaire, so and so forth, whoever, um, they what got them there is consistently focusing on things that they do without fail every single day. And those daily habits, those daily rituals are what leads to massive, massive results. And so that is your goal is to focus. If you've been focusing on a pass or fail scenario up to this point, you've thought, I haven't seen the results that I want. I'm not there, um, you know, oh my Lord, if this has been, you know, tough already, what's it going to be whenever I'm focusing on my 50 pound, uh, you know, goal or, you know, my goal was to do this and now I can feel it shrinking back or slipping away. I absolutely encourage you to let go of that into immediately right now, this second, grab a pen, grab a paper, 
write down immediately the victory list that you have. It should be somewhat extensive because you should be focusing on the things that you don't do, the things that you now do that you weren't doing. It doesn't matter if you used to do that you know, before. What I hear a lot of times is people going, in high school I did this and I used to run like this. And so you compare yourself to that old version instead of comparing where you are to where you were just a week ago or the day before yesterday or what have you. And so what I want you to do is to focus on writing this victory down, victory list down today, not tomorrow, not later. Focus on that today. Write down your victory list such as I drink less soda than I did before and it seems to be consistent. That's freaking huge. I've hired a coach and, I'm, and I've stopped trying to do this on my own. I've hired somebody who's been there. That's a huge step. Um, you know, I now work out pretty consistently throughout the week. I at least hit my good goal, which is three times a week. Um, you know, if you struggle with that good goal um, and you just now started getting once a week, it's, hey, I worked out this week. Tomorrow I will X, Y, and Z. These sort of small victories are what leads they are the foundation of your big goals, your big wins. So write them down, take note, take it often, and make sure that you know what you're accomplishing and achieving, and then none of it, none of it is small in comparison uh, to where you were. So you just have to keep focused on that. So I hope that this helps. I hope this resonates a little bit. I want you to focus on your small wins because again, these victories are absolutely crucial for you to take note of because unfortunately, there are many people who are on the right path. They've got loads of small victories that they can uh, accord to, and yet they think that they are failing, and that is an absolute disaster for somebody to think that they're failing or that they're not going to make it, all because they don't take account of what they've won and all the victories that they are. And so that's why you have a coach, and I'm here to remind you to do that. So I hope this helps. Um, try to keep the video a little bit shorter today. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Uh, please, if you watched the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know that you watched it. Um, comment below something that, uh, that, that got to you about the video today. And uh, I will see you guys again later this week. Thanks, guys.